Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. Whether you're looking for a website, blog, or an online store, make sure to check out Squarespace. Use the coupon code Manny, you get 10% off. Hey everybody, Manny Ortiz here, and today we're gonna be comparing lenses for portraiture. What the heck are you doing? Nice job, Diana, on that impersonation. You did a great job. You did a great job. So I made this video to help you decide on what portrait lens to purchase next. I did this by replicating the frame with each lens at its widest aperture to show you the output, straight out of camera output that the lens has and the kind of look that you should expect from each lens. All right, all right. So we're going to be starting with the 35 millimeter 1.4 by Zeiss, shooting all the images at f1.4. Uh, this is the most versatile prime in my bag. Um, it's a great all around environmental portrait lens, but it is not a headshot lens. Notice the distortion here. Don't shoot headshots with this lens unless you're going for that look. Um, here is a waist up shot. This is where this lens shines. It gets a considerable amount of background blur, the subject pops. And shooting full body shots with the 35 millimeter allows you to really show off the scene and what's going on around them. Next up is a 55 millimeter 1.8 by Zeiss. It's pretty much a 50 millimeter, right? So the nice thing about the 50 millimeter is that it's still a great versatile lens, but you are removing some of that distortion when shooting up close to a model. As you see here, you can definitely get away shooting a headshot with this lens. Still not recommended, you still get some distortion, but overall still looks good. Here is a waist up and a full body coming up next. Uh, nothing but good things to say about it. It is a great, just standard portrait lens. All right, so now we're moving on to my favorite lens, the 85 millimeter 1.4 by G Master. The beautiful thing about the 85 millimeter focal length is that you're pretty much removing the distortion that you got with the 35 and the 55. So you're able to shoot up close and get a really nice flattering perspective on someone's face. So 85 millimeter combined with f1.4, the background is going to melt away as you see here. Beautiful background, melts away like butter. Uh, waist up, again, you're getting the same kind of look. Just you're getting a really nice shallow depth of field. And the beautiful thing about shooting full body portraits with this lens is that you're able to include a decent amount of background while maintaining that 3D pop in your image. So last week I posted a what's in my bag video. Link is down below in the description box. Coincidentally, I got this lens the day after I posted that video. So uh, this is a new lens in my arsenal. Uh, the main reason why I never purchased this lens before is because of the this working distance with the model. I love shooting at 200, but I don't like standing so far back. But let me tell you that I forgot how awesome these portraits look at 200 millimeter. The compression is gorgeous. So here is the headshot that I took. Straight out of camera, I actually prefer this headshot over the 85 millimeter one. I also want you to notice the background blur and how it's changing from 85 to 200 millimeter. At 200 millimeter, you're really bringing that background in so it looks closer to you and you're filling the frame in with the background and you're still getting that subject isolation that I love out of my 85, um, just that you're standing a lot farther back. But overall, a really unique perspective on things if you don't mind the weight and the distance that you are from your model. Hey everyone, welcome back. I would love to hear what lens you thought performed the best. Let me know down in the comments section below. I still am an 85 millimeter guy, just I, I just like the look of 85, but that 200 was pretty sweet, I have to admit. So I'm gonna be shooting with that lens more often. I just got it, and I'm gonna see what it's all about. But uh, till then, 85 is still my go-to lens. <laughs> so, so if you are new here, please consider subscribing because I post weekly photography videos. And uh, I'll see you next week. Peace.